Hey guys, it's me Kuroko Kyobeng. Hope you're having a good day and today I am doing my first impressions of an awesome new 4x4 by YJ Toys. YJ Guansu. This cube is amazing for the price tag and will definitely fit your budget. This cube currently costs $7 at CubeZZ, which is quite a nice price for a 4x4 like this. Moyu Aosu was way more expensive than this. The feel of the cube is reminiscent of the Aosu, however it is more smoother and a tad bit more stable than the Aosu. While turning, I feel less friction on the Guansu than on the Aosu and I'll flow really well on this. Corner cutting is like the Aosu, however Guansu has a bit more improved reverse corner cutting and the reverse corner cutting does not lock up which is something I really appreciate. The outer layers are fast and the inner layers are also fast which helps with the PLO parity. The stickers are like the Moyo standard bright shades and they look beautiful on it. Pops don't really happen and I am yet to get a single major lockup on it. By major lockup, I mean lockup which destroys my solve. Out of the box, I didn't do much to it. The speed was plenty fast for me and to my likings, so I just broke it in nicely. The feel changes after you break it in and it makes me want to solve this cube more and more. I personally like this better than my well broken in Aosu with thousands of solve. According to me, it is better than the Aosu and you should get it. Now let's talk about the competitor cubes, which are the GE Storm and the Cyclone Boys G4. I have used the G4 before and I would say that the Guansu is better than it. However, I have not tried the GE Storm, so I cannot comment on that. I have a Yushin 4x4 also, but my Aosu was better than the Yushin. Cube was made to be a budget 4x4 giving nice performance for low price tag. The starting of the name is similar to the Guanlong and YJ made the Guanlong as well. As of now, I would recommend this cube to everyone slow or fast. If it's too fast for you, then overlubing with 50k Fraxas will help and if you like fast cube, then the cube is plenty fast after breaking it in and even out of the box. I have not lubed it yet and probably won't be doing it because I really like the aesthetics and the performance of the cube as of now. Be sure to check out my review video which will be uploaded in a while. Thank you guys for watching, watch my other first impressions videos too and follow me on my social media. Take care guys and bye.